floods wreak havoc, oftentimes being unpredictable or cyclical. Kokoratil, a small village in Barima Waini, is prone to floods along the riverbanks. Yet, due to different circumstances, some residents live in these risky areas. And of course, they suffer continuously from floods caused by the overtopping of the Barama River. After the flood come now, we start reaching till up to here and dock we out now. So that's why we ask the government that if we could help you with whatever. But now the tides have shifted with 10 families bidding farewell to future floods. They have been securely relocated to higher grounds and placed in their new homes free of charge. Each house is 20 by 25 feet and features three bedrooms, an outdoor sanitary facility, and a trestle and a tank for rainwater harvesting. The initiative to relocate the families was birthed following an engagement with residents last year who complained of the difficulty coping with frequent floods. And since we move over here, we are comfortable. We feel all right. We have our farm. We have every little thing. We now making a, a start in life again. Um, everything is not really too perfect as yet, but then as time goes by, everything will be hard with us. I feel so happy that you people can secure me and my children from the flood, because at once I'm living in the flood. And when I hear that this house is going to build, I feel real happy for the government where they can look into our matters. I feel great and joyful for this help from the government. So thankful now that we could be up on the hill and that is where it benefit to me, right? So, I mean, from the flood now, we don't have to think about that no more, right? We come out from there now, so we would be so happy up there. You will recognize yes. in this short period of time, three years back into office, all communities in the hinterland, including here in Kukrit, have seen constant upliftment and injection so that we can have a better community and we can have a better livelihood for our citizens. The houses were built under the hinterland housing program which aims to meet the housing needs of vulnerable communities.